Hello people of the internet. A few videos ago I made a video <laughs> about these pens, the Stedler double-ended permanent pens, the 3187s. And there was a little bit of confusion um, in the comments about the fact that these were permanent pens. And because a lot of people thought they were these pens, <laughs> which are not permanent pens. These are the water-based markers. And there's also these pens, which are the water colour markers, and they all look very similar. So this, this video today is to clear up the Stedler confusion, what the difference is, be is between the double-ended per permanent markers, the 3187s, the double-ended water-based markers, and they're just called double-ended fibre tip pens, which are the three. 200 and then the double ended watercolor brush pens which are 3001. Now, they said they make even more pens than this they make uh, calligraphy pens and they make children's Norris pens and they make the tripless pens, the fine liners, and the, the broad liners, and then the color felt tip pens. But these are just the double ended ones, well, they're not the only double ended ones, but. Particularly these two. These two are what people got confused with. They they was assuming that these were these. So these permanent pens are alcohol based and they only come in 36 colours. This is the biggest set they do. They do a set of 18 and a set of 36. This is the water based markers and they come in a set of 36, 72, 120. So there's 120 colours of these. And these water brush pens come in only 36 colours as well. You can get 18 or you can get 36, but 36 is the most colours. So what I am going to do first is I'm going to swatch. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to swatch. My printer's back. Woohoo! And I have printed out a uh, swatch cheek for myself. Now these pens don't come with numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the pens first of all. Let's bring you down where I'm used to having you. And explain that when I first opened these pens, I wasn't expecting that much from them because they feel really cheap and nasty. So if you compare them to, I mean, if you compare them to a Sharpie, a Sharpie's quite, I mean, they're plastic. Really difficult lids to get off. Um, they're plastic, but they feel sturdy and if you compare them to the big intensity these are got this rubberized grip here and they're nice and also sturdy these feel like kids fiber tipped cheap and nasty pens these do not feel like they're going to be any good they feel like they're going to be not that good so when they arrived i thought to myself eh, these aren't going to be that great they have a, a fat tip so just like a super tip tip, and then they have a fine tip. The fine tip is the split plastic tip, so not a fibre tip. So what I did is I, now they don't come with a colour chart. I know someone, I saw a comment, but it got deleted by YouTube. Comments at the moment are a bit funny on YouTube. Someone posted a comment and I read it in my notifications, but when I went to try and find it, I couldn't find it. And they said that you can download the colour charts from Stedler's website. Not for these you can't. There is a colour chart on the Stedler website for the Triplus pens. So that would be these pens. So these. And these. There is a colour chart on the, uh, on the Stedler website. I'll link it down below for the Triplus fibers and the Triplus colour, which are two different types of the same... Uh, two different thicknesses of the same sort of pen but there is no colour chart there is no colour chart for these or these <laughs> or these now I'm not saying that people haven't made their own colour charts because they may have done and that's exactly what I've done so what I did is I numbered all the pens with stickers I actually swatched them out uh, and then put them in a colour order. I always start from yellow, go to orange, red, pink, blue, green, and then browns, greys, blacks. 
and then I always end on neons because I really don't like neons so I usually stick them at the end so that's what I've done with these I swatched them I just did a little scribble and then put them in a color order and then what I did is I kind of half sort of matched up their colors with the tripless colors by swatching out the tripless pens and then matching them to see if any of the colors matched and some of them matched so here so I switched the tri tripless and then you can see here where the colours matched, I kept the names the same. But some of them didn't match, so I gave them my own names. I renamed the pens, and if, if Stedler wants to use the names, well, you're welcome. So the first thing I'm going to do is so that we get a nice good uh, look at all the pens, is I'm going to swatch all the colours out. Okay, so that's the 30 colours from the 36 double-ended permanent pens from Stedler, the permanent pens. They say neon at the bottom there. There's the colour spectrum at the bottom. Okay, so what's the difference then? What is the difference? So let's have a look at these first of all, which are the the ones that everyone got confused with when I showed the, these, these pens. So they have... I was going to say they have the same spectrum of colours, and I think they do, you know. Oh, there's no neons. There's no, oh, is that a neon? It doesn't look like there to be any neons. Let's compare. Them lids are the same colours, but the bodies are different. So, you can see it says Stedler colour on that one and Stedler permanent on that one. They don't come with them numbers. I stuck their numbers on them. But the tips are the same apart from the permanent one, really dark. See, really dark. Okay. And the other end. So on the water-based pen, the silver-bodied one, it has a fibre tip. And on the permanent pen, the one with the black body, it has a plastic tip with this, you know, with the splits. So there's two different nibs at that side, tips, two different tips at that side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how similar the colours are. Yeah, there are three yellows, two. Well, let's see. Okay, for example, let's just match some of them up. So there's that brown that I said was really dark in the other one there's that yellow and then let's get this one and this one yeah they've got the same lids zoom in a little bit with them zoomed in a little bit much okay so let's just try and match these up so let's do the yellow first of all so there's my three permanent yellows and here's my uh, water based one so, oh, obviously on the printer there, it's going to make the uh, paint, the printer ink, it's going to make the printer ink bleed away, which is what it did. So colour-wise, it probably matches that one in the middle, yellow. So you can see the three shades that you get with the permanent pens, and then you can see this yellow shade with this one. Let's just pop that one back in for a minute, which was at that end, and see whether this yellow, there's another yellow in there, let's see whether this matches, it's going to be a bit difficult, the light yellow up there, kind of, okay, so, let's get these two, two greens, which should be this light teal colour, number 20 I called it on this one, so let's see if it's similar. Oh, no, it's much darker. It's more this one. It's got a really nice teal colour to it. So does that mean this one 
with the lighter lid is going to be a lighter colour. Kind of. Now you can see as well, when I go over on this, the paper instantly, see that? That's the difference between water-based. Once up, once down, and third time and the, and the paper is, is tearing up. That's also the difference. The permanent pens are not coming through and the water-based pens, sorry, permanent pens are coming through the paper. Water-based pens are not. I'll do it one more time. Up, down, up, and the paper is just coming apart. We'll do that with the permanent based pens. So there's a permanent pen here. One with the black bodies. And we go down, up, down, up, down, up. So we the paper does not that's the difference between water based and alcohol based pens. I mean it, it seeps through compared to that it seeps through but you get no no pilling of paper that's why I like alcohol based pens okay so I was going to compare one more which was this one number 27 as I called it which has a really caramel brown cap but came out really dark mahogany so it came out here like this and let's just see what it comes out like in the water based interestingly the water based one is probably nearer to the color of the cap okay so that was the difference between the uh, alcohol based 3187s with the black bodies the permanent pens and the 3200 double ended fiber tip pens water based alcohol based tears up the paper doesn't tear up the paper so then we still have these, the double-ended water brush markers. So if we just do a quick, pop the same two colours out. So caramel colour and what was the other colour we were using? Um, the yellowy colour, yellow, caramel, and there was a greeny one, wasn't there? Um, oops, I can't get it out. Okay, so let's do the greeny one. Now these, these are slightly different. These have like a gunmetal colour body and these have a brush side and a fine tip side. So, so instead of the super tip type pointed nib, they have a brush nib. So the watercolour pens have a brush nib on that side and on the other side, they can see the uh, silver body of the water base marker and then the gunmetal kind of uh, body of the watercolour marker. If I just compare it to the black body, don't you can, don't you can, so can you see the three different colours there? Let's get them like that. So, water based, watercolour, permanent. So, three different type colour bodies there. Okay, so that's the brush end. And then they both have exactly the same tip on that end. So that's the water brush, the watercolour pen, and the water-based fibre tip pen. One thing that I have just noticed is they have, like alcohol markers, they have a ring there. And the brush tip has got a ring there, which the uh, fine tip doesn't. So it's a very similar setup. And that is the same across uh, the other pens as well. So these are the fine uh, fiber tip pens and they have the, a ring because they have the color end. Okay, so let's have a look at these on the swatch sheet. So many pens, not, not enough space. So we have the caramelly, caramelly, caramelly one water based so it's very similar it's actually a really nice brush so the caramel the brush which is a really nice brush is is the same sort of color as the water based one and the yellow the yellow 
You can see the smearing as it goes across the printer ink because the printer ink is uh, going to dissolve inkjet ink will dissolve in, in water just clearing up the thing so that looks like it's the same as that as that pen there which I believe is so them three are the same so it's the yellow one and then let's have a look at the green in this one with a brush it says brush on it as well just a little brush so basically they're just like water based pens with a brush tip so this should be the same sort of green and it is and let's do the layer layer yeah breaks oh, we've done four now and it's the paper's breaking up and that that is how water-based markers work because the water gets into the paper fibers and explodes it okay okay i am surrounded i am surrounded by pens so let's just move those all out the way and what i've done is i've taken the caramel color ones one of each and i have taken the greeny ones one of each and what i'm going to do is compare them on four different types of paper so we have 90 gsm printer paper we have 120 gsm printer paper we have 190 gsm watercolor paper scientific this isn't it and we have 220 gsm mixed media paper aren't you excited if you hear laughing, chatting, screaming, singing in the background, that's my next door neighbour. They get noisy at the weekend. So what we're going to do is just start with the permanent uh, based pens. So the ones that I, I did last week, or the ones that I did a few videos ago. Let's do a squiggle, 90 GSM, 120 GSM, watercolour paper, mixed media paper. Then I'm going to get a water brush that has water in it. I'm just going to see, it's never going to blend out because it is alcohol. But I'm just doing it so we see. Okay, so that was the permanent pen. This is the water-based pen. So 90 GSM, 120 GSM, 190 GSM watercolour paper and mixed media paper. I'm going to get the pen. Is it blending on 90? No. Is it blending on... Oh, bit. Is it blending on watercolour? A little bit. And is it blending on mixed media paper? Quite a bit. Well, it's lifting up rather than blending. So now we're going to do the watercolour pens and I've dipped that in water under there. So let's, let's go to a dry bit. Let's dry that off so we don't get it unfair advantage and know that this is the same paper this is the same paper and we're going to do the watercolor the actual watercolor the brush pen the one that is sold as a Stedler watercolor pen so 90 gsm 120 gsm watercolor paper and mixed media paper and then the water. Make sure my cloth's clean. Does it blend? Not really. Not really. Just making sure my brush is clean on the watercolour paper. Not fabulously. And on the mixed media paper. Again doesn't really blend it just sort of washes away <laughs> rather than blends so that is the difference 
that is the difference and let's turn these all over as well so you can see what came through i have to cheat on this one because that was the alcohol marker on the 90 the alcohol marker on the 120 the alcohol marker on the watercolor paper and the alcohol marker on the mixed media paper and then obviously that's the water-based mediums there water-based ones there water-based ones there and the water-based ones there Okay, so in my previous video, these were the pens I recommended. Do I recommend these and these? No, not so much. I recommended these because I thought they were good alcohol-based um, pens with a very fine tip to use in mandalas. These are just felt pens. Even the watercolor ones, as you saw on watercolor paper, didn't really do anything special so I love Stedler products I have the triplet stuff but these are not for me <laughs> but these are so hopefully that was useful hopefully that clears up the difference between the permanents the watercolor and the double-ended fiber tips hopefully it does all right take care everyone and thanks for watching bye